اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جل الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبر وأكرم من سئل الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منيرا أما بعد الحمد لله فالله making me Muslim making you Muslim Alhamdulillah for Allah blessing me with Islam and you Alhamdulillah for Allah sending messenger messenger after messenger from nations before and our nation the messenger is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he's the last messenger the last messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Muhammad came with a book and that book came from Allah Rabbul Izza it was revealed from Allah to Jibreel Jibreel to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and that book is none other than quran than quran quran is the best book which was revealed by allah rabbul izza quran quran has got a message where everyone needs to cynic it in his heart not in the mind in the heart he needs to stay there once he stay there in the heart it will it will automatically guide that person where and where by allah rabbul is unless that hurt is got a problem quran says a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim fa inni qarib ujibu da'wata da'i da da'an qul id'u allah aw id'u rahman ربكم ادعوني these are three ayat these three ayat is to do with the subject i'm going to talk now the second ayah is in surah al-isra where it says qul id'u allah aw id'u ar-rahman call upon allah call upon the most merciful one allah is the most merciful one and there is people out there who called and called and called a called upon upon Allah and some of them they go answered and some of them their message their call their dua was delayed now these people who their dua was delayed that in itself is a test that their dua is being delayed now those who call and call whatever the calamity whatever the distress that is when their dua has been answered and they don't know if it's been answered yes or no example is those people who've got been hit black by black magic why black magic is a problem big big problem black magic evil eye hasad jinn possession these are spiritual problem very problematic it brings problem to the individuals it expose to the individual to different types of spiritual diseases and it brings problem to the body you won't expect it unless the person who's going through it then that person will tell you what he's going through or what she's going through black magic and envy and evil eye and spiritual disease is done by a spiteful and envious individual goes to magician and he collaborate with the magician and the magician ties him down so the individual keeps on going back to the magician whether that one or different one and Allah knows best and here you find the individual get hit by the decree of Allah and you find people who call upon Allah and people who are absolute negligence living their life with the disease living their life controlled by the devil and controlled by the spirits but you find people who are struggling through their salah through their sleep through their jobs and they call upon Allah and call upon Allah and victory comes recovery comes healing comes now this video today i'm talking about the healing when he has come and you're not aware of it you're wondering what happened and you end up in a searching mood you keep on searching you're not getting ideas how is it and what has happened suddenly you are absolutely fine magic 
has so many types and he varies his types. Signs of recovery are so many. And today, this video is about the signs of recovery. One of the greatest, infl greatest infliction, like I mentioned before, is to be exposed through a touch or evil eye or magic or envy. At is, as it is a very severe, painful severe experience for the person who experiences it after he overcomes and is treated he fears that that problem comes back to him again because it's an experience like i mentioned so he starts am i is it serious is this happening to me or what is it he goes that and he starts looking and looking but the one who has tawakkal he knows it is from allah and he relaxes and ask Allah to make it easy for him and to not bring that inflictions again. Now you'll find people when they recover they go back to their old ways. You'll find people when they recover they go back to their old ways and inflictions backs again. But when they were inflicted they called and called and Allah removed the inflictions and they go back. But You'll find people when the afflictions goes away, they steadfast, steadfast and they show gratitude towards Allah, Rabbul Izza. Being exposed to magic is a condition that comes to a person and change his condition without any justification. This is happening through contract spell that the two spiteful individuals come together and worship the devil. And he writes down or he spits with some words and then pom he hits the individual by the decree of Allah Rabbul Izzah and the person goes through infliction. There are symptoms where the person goes the symptoms of magic, but I'm not gonna discuss those symptoms on this video. I will discuss in the video coming inshallah. The signs of recovery. Sign number one. Is that when that individual who is recovered from seher or whatever spiritual problem, the person will be worshipping Allah Rabbul Izzah. The person will be worshipping Allah Rabbul Izzah without no problem at all. No problem. He will worship Allah with a sakoon. With no problem at all. Absolutely no problem. He will worship Allah Rabbul Izza. All the thoughts, the, the pain, and whatever, it will absolutely be gone. And the person will wonder, is this for real? But if he's a muwahid, you know this is from Allah. Victory has arrived. Number two, the person will regain his activity. He'll be active. He'll be surprised himself that he's absolutely active. What is happening to me? But it's a victory from Allah. A story comes to mind of a brother a few days come. And then that's why I decided to compile this video. He comes, Ya Sheikh, you know what happened to me? Tell what happens. He says there was a magician next door to ours. And that magician was so much liking me. And then from the family, it was me who was always ill. Absolutely ill. And the time he died, I woke up from all this illness and start being active. Everybody from the family noticed. And everybody thinking, has he done something or not? And that's the recovery. Until today, the brother is absolutely fresh. So the individual will return to absolutely normality that he was like a baby before. Number three is that disappearance of disturbance in the night when the person is hit by a spiritual disease now the night some people go through insomnia they cannot sleep that will be gone some people will be sleeping and kawabis nightmares after nightmares one after another while they are asleep their body will be exhausted when they woke up because they are, it was dreams after dreams and Allah knows best and that will be gone completely by 
the decree of Allah. Number four, the mood. The individual, his mood will improve. If the individual's in a second, he bursts into anger, his mood will change, will be calm. If in a second the person the person bursts into tears, he'd, his mood will be different now. No tears, no nothing. If in a in a second small word disturbs him, that does not do it anymore. Is not disturb him anymore. That mood change gone. Now, when the person again is hit by spiritual problem, what will happen is the person will have um, some of the some of the people. And majority of the people will have a memory loss. Recently, I've done on a brother, even today, while I'm making this video, I've done on a, on a brother who has a memory loss. He, he forgets. Alhamdulillah, now he's improving so much. He's improving by the will of Allah Rabbul Izzah. That memory loss is gone because we've discovered where the sihr was. They've done sihr on the comb and the hair and he was buried underneath his house we've discovered alhamdulillah so the memory loss spiritual issues bring this the person forgets the person doesn't know what he's doing the person this will be gone by allah rabbul izza number five that one and i stop there this was a video about signs of healing and recovery or cure by allah rabbul izza like it subscribe and share it and stay tuned for more abu yahya from the rocky talk wa akhiru da'wana wa salamun ala al-mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen yana lahum annahu al-haq